Hello friends and welcome back to Violin Teacher YouTube channel. Today in keeping with my 12 weeks of Christmas series, I'm going to teach you a song for Hanukkah. How about that? Okay, now I'm going to try to pronounce this correctly and I'll hold the words up for you to, to see. You can correct me if I pronounce it incorrectly. So, Sevivon Sov Sov Sov. It's about a spinning top. Here's the words. This is a great piece I picked out because it is in the key of D minor. And you're familiar with this if you've been following my channel. It has one flat. And what key, major key, have you been playing some songs in, probably, with one flat? The key of F major. Well, you've probably been playing some songs in the key of F major with one flat. But this piece is... It's got a nice kind of minor key sound, so it's fun. And so let us begin. I'm going to actually turn the camera down like I used to in several other videos and show you my left hand so you can learn the notes. All right, so this piece, let's begin first by playing a D minor scale. It's going to be a little different than what you may be used to. First of all, let's start on the D. We'll play two bows, E natural, now F natural, G natural, open A, E flat, C natural, and D. Now let's use the same fingerings going down. So it's just like the key of C, in that it has all naturals except for the low one, B flat. Okay, the beginning of the song starts out with two D string. Just like that. Then an E natural. Then we go up to the second finger low, two of those, and back to the first finger. That's very, very minor sounding, isn't it? All right, so let's try that much again. D, one, two low. Now we'll go to the A. That, that last thing we played, two, two, one, you've played it already in the second measure. By the way, if you want a copy of this music, you can get it in uh, my description through a link. Let's review that, that third measure where we go two, two A's. Then we run down the third finger, start with the third finger on D, and run down the string. Now, that's a good little unit to practice. Practice the running down stepwise motion, three, two, one, open. Make sure you get that low two placement. In fact, let's do it four times without stopping. Ready, go. Practice like that is really useful because unit practice helps you refine each repeat of the unit, helps you make it better in tune. Okay. So let's play the whole first line now. D string, one, two, one, A, run down, two. Pretty cool. Now we're going to start the same, but it's a little different because it walks up. It goes... So 
just, just set your finger down and walk up the D string with this rhythm. Since you have those fingers down, go ahead and use four. All right, now in the music, it is pointing to a bass clef note. So let's see what that note is. It's probably part of the melody because it's pointing to it. And I'll give you a little clue for those of you who are kind of reading violin music and not even paying much attention to the bass clef. You don't encounter it much as a, as a beginning violinist. And of course, unless you play piano or some other bass clef instrument, you aren't going to need to know the bass clef notes, except in a case like this where you're reading from piano music. So let me give you a little trick. You know how on the lines at the in uh, the treble clef you say, every good boy does fine and that helps you remember what the notes are well on the bass clef it's good boys do fine always so you can stick that in your pocket and that will help you realize that the, this note is an A so it's probably notice that the, the second line has a beat missing so it's probably an A on the G string that a first finger a that they want us to play. So it's going to be So let's do it like that and then if we need a correction I'm sure that that somebody will come forward and teach us. So that's what we're here to do is learn about new cultures and their celebrations and portray their music accurately. So in the second line we begin just like the first but we climb up, we walk up in a stepwise motion. So that is a really good technique to practice. Walking up, holding fingers down, and then placing the four, then jumping to the first finger on G, and then coming back to the D. One more time. on the last measure of on the D's where they say sov 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 and that means spin 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 according to the music according to the words at the bottom of the page the words are spinning top spin 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 that's the name of this piece in, in English now the B phrase begins with D3 <laughs> three times and then going to the B flat. That's that low one on the A. Kind of a cool sound, isn't it? Jump to, from the open A to the two on D low and walk down fast. Once more. Now at this point you have a good challenge and that's playing a high three on the D on the G string. So reach for that high three. You've got to find that high three by just stretching it out of position. Notice that my hand doesn't go out, just the finger. My hand doesn't go up here to reach for it. My hand stays where it always stays. Then set, setting the one, I will know where I am. And I tend to want to hold that one once I've set it, so high three won't make me get my hand scooting up this way. Hold the one. That's a good unit also to help you play better in tune in this key and many other keys. All right, so let's back up to the G's in this, the beginning of the B phrase. B flat, open A, grab that high three, hold the one. Now, 
Here we're going to walk up. We get to do that 2 1 D again. Walk up on D. 1 2 1 D fast. All right, so we get to do it twice in that third line. Then we begin the last line just like the beginning of B phrase. 3 B flat A low two walk down, high three, hold the one, reach back, big D string. All right, folks. So let's play it all at once together now. And happy Hanukkah to you.